just here at uh, property I cut on Saturday and uh, putting the 272 through its paces again. Um, this this has been a nice build. Uh, it has plagued me with some issues. Um, this saw tends to be a little finicky to start after it's been sitting for, you know, a week. Um, which seems to be a 266, 272 type problem. Um, I have many of them. Most of them do that. So, um, been dealing with that. It will start. Sometimes you got to give her a little squirt down the old carpet tutor, but... Uh, yeah, and uh, notice the chain looks a little dry. Um, I think this chain oiler is uh, intermittently cutting out, so um, I think that might be a reason why this thing isn't always cutting as fast as I'd like. I mean, I just sharpened this chain. Let's see if we can get that in there. I just sharpened this chain a couple times. Like, what's going on with this chain? And uh, let's see if we can get this thing to focus. There we go. I just sharpened this chain and put her in some big wood and she's not really cutting too well. So, I mean, it's cutting, but not, you know what I mean? Not the way I'd like. So, anyways, old saws. Uh, that's why I build this kind of stuff for me. Um, for a customer, this will give you a little bit of a headache. Um, you know, I could monkey around with this saw for months and... Uh, you know, and still have issues. Uh, I did have an intake leak in this saw. Uh, what else did I have? Just, you know, headaches. Um, I think I got the porting where I want it. Uh, I took the top end off and monkeyed around with it a little bit. Did Added a little more of something to my timing numbers. Um, I think I'm finally where I need to be. I might go in and do another two degrees and see but until i get that oiler sorted out uh this one's to be continued uh that's my 440 uh doing a little demo video of that today also hey everyone got the 272 here i uh, was just testing another saw and figured i'd put this thing back in the wood i could not use the to it uh that's about a 18 inch piece of ash that's what i have right now
Okay, well, this saw is still a work in progress. Um, it's all right. What I'm the the premise of this is these have a 34 millimeter stroke and a 52 millimeter bore. Um, as far as 70 cc saws, these are as overboard as it comes. So I picked this saw to port. I want to see how strong I can make it without losing torque. It picked up some torque with the last mods I did. Um, I may go back in one more time and do, give it a little more of what I gave it because uh, it's showing promise. It's not leaning out like it was before. This carburetor, I'm still... Uh, let's see if this thing restarts. This thing was giving me troubles this morning. So, that's old saws. This one's for me. I wouldn't sell this to somebody. This thing's too much of a turd. Um, and it's, it is what it is, right? It's being a little bit unpredictable. So that's old saws. Um, I like it. It's pretty fast. I'm finding, uh, I just ran it against a 440 that I ported. The 440 outclasses this thing in big wood all the way. Um, that longer stroke and smaller bore of the 440 makes more torque. And when you bury... When you bury both these saws, the 440 starts running away. This one just can't keep up. In smaller wood, this saw is faster. So, um, which is what I thought was going to happen. So, if you're cutting smaller wood and you want a lightsaber 70cc saw that's lightweight, you're going to grab this. Um, if you might be getting into some bigger stuff and you want an all-around lightweight saw that's also 70 cc's, you're probably going to grab the 440. So, um, I'm not happy with this chain. I don't know if you can see me up there. I'm not happy with the chain on this saw. I, it's sharp, but I don't know. It's not. It's not pulling chips like uh, I like. Um, it is what it is, though. It's pouring rain here. I just thought I'd come out and do a little cutting and. Uh, give you guys something to watch um so yeah I was, uh just wanted to try this saw out sorry i'm blabbering on anyhow i don't know if you guys are getting tired of watching the 272 progress but uh this is what i'm working on i also think that this oiler is quitting um i'm gonna have to dig into this oiler this chain is bone dry right now and uh I think that's one of the bigger problems in bigger wood. I think this oiler is being stingy, so I might have to put I might have to put a big uh, different oiler on this saw. Um, when it idles in the shop, it just blathers blathers oil all over the floor. But for whatever reason, uh, last couple times I've barred this thing up, I feel like it's not oiling, which is probably why I'm not happy with the chain. So um, anyhow, 272 XP. Still a work in progress. Uh, I think I'm pretty close to where I like with this saw. Um, I don't think uh, I'm going to be able to overcome the overboard nature of this saw. Um, at the end of the day, uh, torque makes uh, torque makes the chain go in big wood. So, um, not to say I wouldn't build this saw again. This is a if you're cutting softwood, um, that kind of thing. This saw is incredibly fast uh, in smaller wood or even in softwood. Um, in hardwood, this saw, it's getting outclassed by some of my other builds. Um, so maybe I'll have to do a video uh, 266 versus this with similar work done to both of them. Um, I think in bigger wood, the 266 might actually outcut this because it's more of a torquey saw. So anyhow, uh, thanks to all the new subscribers that have jumped in. Uh, please comment. Uh, let me know where you're from or what kind of saws you're interested in. Uh, with any questions, I'm always willing to help. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Take her easy.